Question number 10. The side length of the triangle are x, x plus 5, and 25. And the longest side of the triangle is 25. We need to find the value of x, which makes the triangle is right angle triangle. So now, with an easy way, we can draw the triangle. That's right angle triangle and the longest side. The longest side, which is the hypotenuse, which is equal to 25. And one of the legs will be x, the other leg will be x plus 5. We need to find the value of x. As we said before, to find the value of x, we are using the Pythagorean theorem. So 25 to the power 2 is equals the sum of the square of the other two sides. That's the sum. The first side, which is x, to the power 2. And the second side will be x plus 5 to the power 2. So 25 to the power 2 equals 625. And that will be x power 2 without any change. Plus x to the power 2. Plus, the first times second times 2, x times 5 equals 5x times 2 equals 10x. Plus 5 to the power 2, which is 25. Now we need to solve the equation by subtracting 625. So x squared and x squared equals 2x squared. Plus 10x. 25 minus 625 equals to negative 600. All of that equal to zero. Now we have a quadratic equation and we can divide all of the numbers by two. So 2x power 2 divided by 2 equals x power 2. Plus 10x divided by 2 equals 5x. Minus 600 divided by 2 equals to 300. All of that equal to zero. Now we have quadratic equation and there is no common factor. So we open two brackets. That's x squared, so it will be x and x. I need two numbers. If you multiply them, the answer is 300. If you subtract, the answer is 5. Two numbers. If you multiply, the answer is 300. If you subtract, the answer is 5. You will find that the two numbers will be 20 and 15. The sign of the middle will be the sign of the greatest number, so this 20 will be positive. And the positive times negative equals to negative. Now from the first bracket, we have x plus 20 equal to 0. It means x is equal to negative 20. And that would be refused because we can say that we have a length with negative. From the second bracket, we have x minus 15 is equal to 0. Then we can say that x is equal to 15. And that would be the value of x. Then we can check by substitution. Then we have 15. 15 plus 5 equals to 20. So the three sides that we have, 25, 20, and 15. 